You know, so many people are lost today. And let me explain to you what I mean by this. If you go on social media today, you'll see one video that goes viral by somebody that's a big influencer. Two hours later, you'll see somebody else make it in and trying to be emotional. You are such a good person. You can do something big. And then another person makes it, and another person makes it, thinking it's all going to go viral. But it's not, because this guy did it because he was being himself. And you're acting, and the other person is acting, and the other person is acting, and it's felt. Years ago, I would give a speech from stage, and I wasn't myself, and it was felt. I would record myself, and I would say, that wasn't you. Why were you not speaking like you? Why are you listening to this Toastmaster stuff? That's not you. That's not how you talk. Talk like you talk, like you talk at a coffee shop or at dinner. Why aren't you talking like you talk? So many people are lost today. Let me read you an excerpt out of the book that has to do with Thomas J. Watson. If you don't know who he is, he's the former founder of IBM. Here's what he said once. He said, IBM is what it is today for three special reasons. The first reason is that at the very beginning, I had a very clear picture of what the company would look like when it was finally done. You might say that I had a model in my mind of what it would look like when the dream, my vision, was in place. The second reason was that once I had that picture, I then asked myself how a company that looked like that would have to act. I then created a picture of how IBM would act when it was finally done. So again, let me recap. First, it was what the company would look like. Second was how we would need to act today. The third reason, watch this. The third reason IBM has been so successful was that once I had a picture of how IBM would look, when the dream was in place, and how such a company would have to act, I then realized that unless we began to act that way from the very beginning, we would never get there. In other words, I realized that for IBM to become a great company, it would have to act like a great company long before it ever became one. This is from the book, Your Next Five Moves. First, act like it. Two, how do we have to behave today? Three, long before you become the company that you want it to be, we have to start acting like that from day one. What's he trying to say? They found out their identity and who IBM wanted to be and who they didn't want to be. So many lost people today because they have no clue who they want to be. This is why in the book, Your Next Five Moves, move number one is who do you want to be? I want to give you a story about a couple of people that showed up today. Both of them are entrepreneurs. One's from Europe. Both of them I was doing a consulting with. The other one is a local uh, person that's in the restaurant business. The first one is somebody that's a very, very well-known doctor worldwide who has 101,000 100, 100, customers that have bought this person's course, but the pandemic has changed a lot for them. They have money, it's not like they're struggling. They're sitting on millions of dollars of cash, but they don't know what they wanna do next. They were so lost. Very successful, multimillionaire, has sold 101,000 courses, extremely successful. You would know who this person is. We're doing a consulting call for an hour, but they don't know who they wanna to be today because the pandemic has scared the hell out of everybody. You're not typically doing the speaking gigs you did before. So how do you pivot? How do you adjust today? What do you do? Just because you were successful 10 years ago doesn't mean you're successful today. You could have been successful for, successful for 20 years, but you're lost today. The other person came in and they said, well, we're noticing people are making money in this side. And what if we go do this? So we're, we're noticing people that are making this way. And we, one minute they want to do this. Next minute the wife says, I want to do this. The other minute says they want to do, no, we want to do, no, we want to do this. I said, what do you want to do? We have these seven different things we want to do. I said, that's the wrong way to go. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be in today's marketplace? Stop looking at everybody. Consuming too much content from way too many different people can completely confuse the hell out of you because you're trying to be seven different characters. And you have to step back, turn off all social media, stop following any of these other guys, stop watching what anybody else is doing, sit down by yourself, ask the question, who do you want to be? That's the question I had to ask myself, who I wanted to be in the marketplace. One of the best advice I ever got was from one of my former mentors. He said something very powerful to me, sold the company for $680 million. He once said, Pat, I learned a long time ago, every time I'm number one, I'm broke. I said, what do you mean? He says, every time I'm the number one go-to guy in a company, I don't make money. He says, I make so much money and I'm so much more fulfilled when I'm the number six guy, number three guy, or the number two guy. I'm miserable being the number one guy. This is a person that knows who he wants to be. Who do you want to be? Do you know the answer to that question? Do you have any idea who you want to be? Do you have any idea what direction you want to go? Have you thought about that? This book, move number one, is spent 
the entire section of what I did to find out exactly who I want to be when I was 21 years old, who I wanted to be at 25 years old, who I wanted to be at 30 years old, at 35 years old, who I want to be today for the next 20 years. It's figuring out who I wanted to be. And the book was written specifically to help you, no matter whether you're 16 years old, 22 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, to identify exactly who you want to be today where you're not like everybody else who's lost out there. So having said that, this book comes out August 18. If you haven't yet bought the book, Your Next Five Moves, you can go to yournextfivemoves.com. And if you buy a copy today, we will send you a chapter of the book. If you buy three copies of it today, maybe you send it as a gift to other people, I not only will send you a chapter, but I'll also send you a one-hour strategy session of four quadrants that I talk about. This is an unlisted private video that you can only see if you buy the three, video, uh, three copies, and I'll send it to you. So you know exactly what you need to be doing today during a crazy time today. This is not a regular time. This is not a time to wing it. This is not a time to be casual. This is a time where you've got to spend some time for identifying exactly who you want to be. If you want that to be you, Go buy a copy or go buy three copies and we'll send you the video and we'll send you the chapter for you to read way before the book comes out on August 18. Again, if you do want to order the book, send us a text to 310-340-1132. Again, 310-340-1132. Text next move to us. We'll send you the link. And if you're not in the U.S., if you go to yournextfivemoves.com, you'll be able to place the order of the book, Your Next Five Moves, that comes out August 18. Having said that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.